Lex. Yo, Joe. What the hell are you doing here, Pansy? We're gonna break your legs, Joe. It's for your own good. Come on, guys. Get him! All right, then. Buddy, what the hell? Put my gun down. Not until I have my husband back. <gasps> my perfect ass! Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I was aiming for your spine. <laughs> Damn it! Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible shot. <laughs> for God's sakes, just give me the gun. I'll do it myself. I'm home. You're all my bitches now. Okay. First question. Who's the biggest, toughest guy in this house? Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I believe I hold the distinction of... <laughs> my house now, bitch! Now who's the funniest? I know my way around a joke. <laughs> For God's sake, Dad, have some humility. It'll save your life. There better be beer in the fridge. Husband, write me impertinent email. Says any American can beat up any Russian. I am here to prove him wrong. You're gonna beat up my husband? Unless he American chicken. Did you just call me chicken? Yes, chicken. Vikray, Vikray, Vikray. Sound different in Russia. Nobody calls me chicken outside now hi we're from publisher's clearinghouse i have a million dollar check for someone named chicken <gasps> a conflict you're going down kick his ass peter yeah kick his ass punch his ass peter <clears throat> ah pretty quick huh well how about this <clears throat> Here comes the haymaker! <laughs> you had enough? Hey, gal. Peter! Oh, looks like Putin's phone is buzzing. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just hurt my neck this morning, vigorously nodding approval to Judge Judy. Okay, all right. The doctor is in. Come on, back it up over here. Somebody's got a neck massage coming. All right, there. Okay, but let's keep this friendly. You can choke me for just a second. You know, maybe I should just go ahead and do your whole back. Yeah, your bra strap is getting in the way here. I'll just bite it off with my teeth. Lois, is a president stronger than a king? What the hell? Oh, Peter, L look, calm down. We're just friends. He's just giving me a friendly massage. A friendly massage? Yeah, and what do you care? When's the last time you did anything nice for me? I ate that gross pasta you made. I might as well just tell you, Peter. I'm in love with Lois. I knew it the moment we kissed. Kissed? Is that true? Yes, Peter, but I... You son of a bitch! <laughs> Everybody says, we don't need a homeowner's association. That's stupid, Quagmire. Well, this is why a homeowner's association. Yeah, 
I'll tell you who might want to hedge up. Liam Neeson. Oh, for God's sake. Someday, I'm gonna kick his ass. Yes, I heard you say that earlier. Peter? Quagmire? Cleveland? And me. I'm here, too. You, wh what are you doing here? Who are these two idiots? Three. Three idiots. Big fan. And what's up with Liam Neeson? You said you kicked his ass. <sighs> Look, you guys, I... I lied about that. What? I acted like such a big man, and I didn't want to admit I was a coward. No, Peter, I'm out of crackers and I'm gluten-free. So what I need you to do is go to a local gym and ask man to pee in your hands. What the hell? No, Liam. I'm not doing your stupid chores anymore. You better take that back. No way your son would learn the drums in that amount of time. <laughs> 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 Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to get a free movie set haircut. Damn it! I was stupid to think I could beat up Liam Neeson. You guys must think I'm pathetic. Are you kidding? You took on the star of Kinsey! Yeah, and more importantly, you followed through on your drunken ravings. Wow, I guess you're right. Thanks, guys. Hey, you bums! If you bastards want our booth, you gotta go through us to get it. Smells like this guy's already wet himself. Don't flatter yourself. That was from this morning. Oh, man, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, and there's only two of you losers. Where's your skinny friend? Right here. Quagmire, you came. Sure did, Peter. Thanks for calling me skinny, by the way. I realized you were right. If we don't stand up for ourselves now, we'll regret it for the rest of our lives. And this might be the stupidest thing I've ever done, but... Oh, now you're gonna get it. Well, I'm out. Hey, that was my pool cue. I brought it from home. Oh, sorry. It screws together, and I even have this special little case for it. I, I, f I feel bad now. Ah! <laughs> hey, that was my Pawtucket Patriot sign. I brought it from home. Okay, now I'm starting to doubt everything you said. All right, guys, I know this looks desperate, but I got this can of spinach. Oh, God, it's all watery. You know, I almost said no chairs at the beginning. Haven't you guys had enough? Why don't you just admit your beat and get out of here? Okay. okay. No, never. We will never stop fighting for this booth. This booth is my home. I was born in this booth. I was married in this booth. My children were all conceived in this booth. Hell, I witnessed every significant historical event in my lifetime right here. I was in this booth when the Challenger exploded. Oh, my God, no. I was in this booth on 9-11. Oh, my God, no. 
I was in this booth when President Obama was elected. Oh, my God, no. So if you want this booth, you're going to have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Why are we even bothering with these idiots? We're shipping out to Afghanistan tomorrow. You guys are soldiers? It's our third tour of duty. <laughs> if I could touch my own head, I'd salute you.